Why is my ABS light on? Oh, no fucking way. Is that rain? <laughs> so either that's rain or that bike is spitting fuel out the exhaust. Hopefully it's spitting fuel. Oh yeah, that thing's just throwing gas out the back of it. Or some sort of moisture. I don't think that's a good thing. Oh man, that's smooth. All right, this feels weird. Oh. Oh wow, this thing's got some jam. Yeah, I'm here at the power, or not the power tour, that's the Yamaha one. Uh, this is the come ride with us from Honda. Yeah, this is a CB650F, and I'm also slated for the CTX700. And my god, I love this bike. Wow, it even tells you your fuel consumption. That's cool. This whole seating position is foreign to me again, so... Of course, with North Bay Roads, I am really fucking nervous right now. Being on a sport bike, because we are known for gravel, sand, and all this other shit in pretty much every corner. I'm keeping it in too high of a gear right now, because if you can't tell, that's a bunch of cruisers in the front, and cruisers don't corner as well as this thing does. Probably, hopefully. It'd be embarrassing if they did corner better than this. But I do like this bike. Oh God, no. <laughs> it feels weird, I'm on a heavy bike. This thing feels nice. I wouldn't be able to like not do that all the time if I actually own this thing. So Rex is here somewhere too. He's behind me on a CB500F, the naked bike. Which I'm sure is nice, but oh my God. This bike is super nice. Like, I think this would be better than one of those, for sure. You gotta remember, like, this is also coming from my bike. And those of you who are just tuning in, just to see me riding this, my normal bike is a KLX 250S, which is why I'm wearing a dirt bike helmet on a sport bike right now. Uh, I personally am a fan of a dual sport. I appreciate inline fours. I don't think I'm ever gonna own one. Oop. Uh, look at those rocks and shit. I am tempted to fucking get me one of these. Wow. So this is actually a down-tuned four-cylinder that's been punched out to 650ccs to give it lots of extra torque. And I like it. Let's just see how fast it goes in first gear. More than fast enough. But this isn't like super sport level of power. It's definitely more torquey than any super sport I've ever ridden. I mean, it's got lots of power down low, but it's fast. I mean, and again, like I said, this is coming from a guy who rides a KLX 250S and isn't used to, actually this position is not as bad as it could be, come to think of it. 
Like I could sit there like this. My back is almost straight. I'm supporting my weight with my arm. That turn signal's in a weird fucking spot. See, the one thing I don't like about this bike is it feels slow turning. Uh, by that I mean like I'm used to a bike that weighs under 300 pounds. Like my bike is super nimble compared to this. And uh, in the corners, this just feels heavy. I don't know, well I can't compare that to a CPR 600, but I can guarantee you this thing's more planted in a corner. I mean, I have knobbies. My bike is super squirrely all the time. Now, I've been hitting almost every pothole, and I hardly feel it on this bike, which is surprising. I guess that's because this is technically classed as sport touring, and it's got a more comfy suspension. Probably got sport touring tires, too, which will last a lot longer than, like, sticky track rubber. I'll give them that, which is why I probably want to put the sport touring rubber on but this is like as much bike as you'd need for your average everyday use I mean I don't see why you'd need more than this ever I don't even slingshot on purpose I just didn't realize we're going 70 I remember last year when I was doing this there was construction on this road up ahead and if I remember I was on the Jixer and the guy passed the word back that they were opening up the bikes. And the lead bike was not a CB300, it was a uh, Gixxer 1000, followed by Hayabusa, and then me on the Gixxer 600. It was, it was nice. It, it was real nice. I'm not going to say the speeds we were going, but we really did open those bikes up. I'm surprised how good this bike sounds, stock, but the Jixxer 600 sounds way better stock than this thing does. Oh wow. Okay. You start turning hard on this and it just tips. Oh. Fucking potholes. Ow. I feel a lot more comfortable on this bike. Uh, I feel like the incoming air hitting my chest is supporting my weight a little bit more than just my abs can. And I'm sure once I got used to sitting on something like this, I could probably get away with uh, buying one if my insurance would let me. I don't know if they would or not. But, I personally don't need a bike this fast. And I know a lot of people are going to sit there and go, Oh, but you need a super fast sport bike to do shit all the time. You, you need to go fast. What's the point of owning a motorbike if you can't go fast? I don't buy a motorbike for uh, speed. I use a motorbike as a primary commuter. Sure, yes, fun, bikes can be fun, but I'd rather not have all my speed on pavement. If you fall off on pavement, you get hurt really bad. You fall off in the dirt, you can walk away a lot easier. Like, 
there is a huge difference between a crash at like 70 kilometers an hour on the pavement and a crash at 70 kilometers an hour on the fucking dirt. It's not only like the speed that I don't need because I am fairly accident prone. Just ask anybody who knows me, I am very, very accident prone. Though I will recognize, sport bikes do have their place. This is a fun bike if you're into it. I don't know, I, I prefer a good, quick handling dual sport over a sport bike. I'll take that any day, hands down. And this motor doesn't even doesn't even feel like it's working before 4,000 RPM. <laughs>